Philly with Jim Preppes here in San Francisco's Century Lounge, enjoying a quick cocktail and light dinner before boarding this evening's flight. This is my fifth flight in a little over a day, and it's going to be on Alaska Airlines on one of their Airbus A320s they inherited when they bought out Virgin America. So I've yet to get on an Airbus uh, product by Alaska, so I to give that a shot tonight and bring you along. San Francisco's Centurion Lounge was accessed today with my American Express Platinum card, and I found it located in Terminal 3, primarily used by United. This lounge is currently closed for an expansion, and it's offering grab-and-go food for card members who come by during limited hours. However, earlier in the year when I came by, it was open and featured this huge wine wall. I grabbed a quick dinner, and then it was off back into the terminal. Late in 2021, San Francisco Airport completed an airside gate connector from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3. So even though I am over here in the United Terminal, Terminal 3, and my flight's from Terminal 2 tonight, uh, even if I was just uh, flying right with Alaska, I could still walk over here and make use of that lounge. So it's good to know. It's gonna be about a 10 minute walk over to the other terminal. Alaska Airlines, of course, headquartered in Seattle, the home of Boeing as well. And they've been famously proudly all Boeing for their mainline fleet. However, when they merged with Virgin America, they inherited some Airbus product. And for the moment, those planes are still flying. There have been some talk about retiring them, but for right now, let's get on board. Yeah, I had to make this exact uh, change of terminals back in 2020 and I uh, had to re-clear security, so. It's nice to be able to just walk over here now and not have to deal with all that. Well, I know it's the late, late hour of uh, 7 p.m., but I remember that uh, this terminal was quite slow when I flew through here in 2020, and it's uh, still pretty slow. Well, uh, not much of a view of my plane this evening here at this corner gate, but there it is. There's my A320. Tonight, we enter this cabin and walk through the first class into the economy section in a 3x3 configuration. I was able to book a premium class seat for today's two-hour flight at no charge thanks to my American Airlines Platinum Pro status. For your knowledge, Alaska was selling this seat for $23 on this route. Even more thankfully, I had come up with an empty middle seat, which stuck around through boarding. As you'll see, the Virgin interiors, which included in-flight entertainment, have been stripped out of the aircraft with a more recent Recaro Slimline model taking their place. All I could find that was left of Virgin was some red paint showing through the livery peeling back. The seat itself does at least include a tablet holder with dedicated USB power at eye level to make use of the provided streaming entertainment options. Below that is what seems to be a standard tray table but includes, curiously, this additional pull-out drink holder at the rear, for some reason. Below that is an excellently placed universal power port and a personal item pouch. Legroom is great here in premium, with over 34 inches of pitch, up from 31 in the main cabin. This flight was taken in March of 2022, prior to the airline mask mandate lifting. The newest member of the One World Alliance, welcome to aboard flight 1461 to Seattle. Thank you for being mindful of others while finding your seat. My name is Dan, and your captain up front with me is Randall. Randall will be doing the flying to Seattle this evening. Weather in Seattle currently 43 degrees Fahrenheit, winds are variable at 3 miles per hour. Visibility is good at 6 statute miles or better with partly cloudy skies. Our flight today is going to be... One hour and 46 minutes en route at 38,000 feet. Thank you again for flying with us at Alaska Airlines. <laughs> Once airborne, I snapped my iPad into the tablet holder on the seat and checked out the entertainment. Here, Alaska does offer a robust amount of complimentary streaming content to your device. In addition to paid internet access, Alaska provides for complimentary messaging and access to an in-flight tracker map at no charge. Now it's time for the service on today's flight. Pre-orders were available for Alaska's snack box options 
However, their fresh food selections are reserved for longer flights of 1,100 miles or more. Today's flight at 679 miles was well short. Having stopped by the lounge, I stuck with the free snack mix and was awarded a chocolate bar for my One World Emerald status, also accompanied by a cookie and apple I brought along for the lounge. Seating in premium also allows for an alcoholic beverage. In a great example of the service on Alaska, the flight attendant informed me that sadly catering had not loaded any beer into the economy class cart that evening. I gladly understood and stuck with a glass of water. Without any request or expectation, after the drink service had been completed, she went up to first class and procured a beer for me from the forward cabin. That little extra service back here in a coach is really appreciated, especially on a short flight like this where the lack of extra effort could easily go unnoticed. As indeed, we're already heading in for a landing into Seattle tonight. So that was Alaska's Airbus A320. A nice little evening hop there. Nice service with Alaska as always. Once again, even though I'm not in Alaska, frequent flyer with my One World status, they took great care of me there on board. So wonderful, lovely little flight. Hope you enjoyed coming along as well. Billy with Gilbert Travels, I will see you on my next flight. Please remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be made aware first when more content is available. As always, thanks for watching.